Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. Today, we're going to tackle the, t the wall that my TV's on. The thing about it is, <laughs> the sconces, is that what y'all been calling them? I don't know, I called them flowers in a basket hanging on the wall. Um, the sconces, that sounds like a place in Scotland, Nova Scotland. Nova Sconsons. <laughs> they were rushed. That's why they look so little in a big space. I just didn't have anything else to put there and I was yellow. And I was just kind of throwing something up there. So I just kind of threw them up there because I was shopping for my house. Did I introduce myself? Why am I talking in an accent ever since I said Nova Sconsons? <laughs> I just threw them up there because I was shopping for my house and I didn't have anything else to put up there. The TV stand right there was an impulse buy and I'm not happy with that, that wood color. I don't like that wood color. It's too in the middle for me. It's either drastic or drastic. So it's either going to be white or dark wood. I'm going to make it dark wood and white. So it's kind of in between which goes against everything I just told you I stand for. But you get what I'm saying. I can't have no medium brown browns in my house. And then I'm just going to add a plant. And just kind of spruce it up a little bit. Just kind of spruce it up, see what I can get into, see what I can do. But I really do want to, I want to get that area to look in nice. So, it's 642. Let's try to get this done before it gets dark. Both the mirrors and the plant will be linked down below. I got them both from Amazon. And let me tell y'all, I got the mirrors in the color bronze. I am in love with these mirrors. They're beautiful and they set off my TV wall now. So wait, you're trying to hang things, yeah, Dave? Uh, and it worked? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Let she who wields this hammer obtain the power of Shane. I already have that power. <laughs> Sat down, I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about, and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. 
Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at it. So I think that you guys pretty much knew I wasn't going to love this when I got it. And it, like I said, it really was an impulse buy because I was way too impatient to order what I really wanted online. Um, I could have gotten what I really wanted and it was only a little bit more and it was online, but I was too impatient and I picked this up in person at Walmart. But I did like the style of it, so I knew in the future I was going to mess with it because y'all know I can't leave it. Nothing in this house is safe from a paintbrush. Um, so I knew I was going to do something with it and I was like, you know what, I'm going to kind of turn it into a piece that I bought most of you if you're if you're not new here then you know i have a, a white and dark wood cabinet it's like a farmhouse cabinet in my dining room kind of went off that as far as what i did to this because i really wanted it to kind of match i really liked that look of the cabinet in my dining room so i will say this was very hard to paint um as you can see there it starts to bubble up it really has like it doesn't stick to it very well and that's because i was using gloss paint which is the only paint i had i wasn't about to go buy chalk paint or flat paint for this um i was using that on already like shiny like laminated wood almost because that's the kind of feel it has so i've learned a hack to this and what it is is you leave it be let it bubble up and you know cause little circles little holes in the paint and stuff and then when you go into the second coat do it in the opposite direction that you did the first coat in so i did the first coat in the horizontal is that horizontal back and forth motion when i went in to do the second coat i did up and down motion and that covered up all the little holes and it finished it perfectly like it's fine now so that's just a little hack for y'all <laughs> i had to learn that the hard way have you ever been in love have you ever lost your head have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress when your heart is beating fast and you're sweating you can't stop looking at her smile then you've been in love that's how you know you've been in love I will say though, it chalk paint would do much better on it. Flat paint would do much better on it. I, if it, if I had my way, and if I wasn't so stingy, and really, I'm not even stingy at this point. I'm just broke. <laughs> I'm poor, poor over here. If I wasn't so poor, poor over here, then I would have went and either got chalk paint and then topped it off with like maybe some polyacrylic, or I would have went and got flat paint and done a top coat of gloss paint or something like that. But the the I think I did double. Yeah, the double coat of gloss paint did fine like it's fine now it's exactly like it would be if i had to put a coat of poly on it you can see here this is exactly what i was telling you guys about i'm going sideways on this one because you can see the previously i went up and down on it and it's covering up those holes in the paint perfectly it's kind of just where like the paint congregates together in the little like colonies <laughs> and it leaves like the wood it's just really blotchy I, i've no i don't know i've never seen anything do it like that before so it took me off guard at first y'all know y'all know usually i don't get worried with projects i know i can fix whatever but this was new to me and i was like wait what's happening but it ended up working out in my favor and it looks really good so i thought you know worst case scenario i'll call it rustic <laughs> This is also for you guys who tell me that, oh, how do you do that, girl? How do you paint and not get stuff on the floor? You see that line over there? That little, those little lines? Those are from the last time I painted something white over here, which was my fireplace forever ago. And I always keep a damp washcloth near me. I don't use painter's tape that often unless it's absolutely necessary. So I just wipe off with a damp cloth whatever I mess up.
outfit number three. So as you can tell, this video was not recorded over a span of a few days, only two days, but I just had taken a shower and look, I already have paint in the back of my head again, but I figured right now was the perfect time to tackle this trim because back whenever I first painted these walls, the Stone Harbor grayish, that's the color that my walls are by the way. I get, that's the most asked question on my channel. What is the color of your walls? It is Stone Harbor grayish by Color Place. Whenever I painted those, I wasn't thinking and I just went right over the trim with the Stone Harbor grayish and I, it's, it's, dro it's drove me crazy. So I I took this time while I was redoing this wall to tackle the trim. Now, I cannot wait to get the baseboards on. The baseboards will be probably sometime this month because I'm almost done with my living room for now because y'all know I'll never really truly be done. Um, but I'm almost done with my living room enough to where I can commit to the baseboards. Um, so that will be within like the next month, no later than two months from now. Like I said, this plant will be linked down below. I just got a little cheap planter. I think I got that at Ollie's and I'm setting it on something that I already had. It was in my entryway area, kind of just sitting there because I didn't have anywhere else for it. Um, I am happy with this plant. It does look a little weird than from what the website showed it looks like, like Amazon, but I'm happy with it. I'll be more happy with it when I can get some fake moss to go around the top of it to hide it because it is a little plant and a big planter, but I wanted to give it some depth. I didn't want a little planter, so I'm going to put some moss whenever I can find some. Um, and then I also wanted to kind of tuck my rug in more underneath my couch because I find that whenever it's more so out from underneath my couch, it slides everywhere. And so does my couch. I need to get some of those sticky things y'all are telling me about. And then I took one of y'all's suggestion whenever I did my decorate with me, one of my last decorates with me, you guys told me to put this over my TV again. I had that before and I took it away. I'm glad that I, I'm glad that you guys suggested that because I love it here. It goes so well with these mirrors. So this is the before picture. This is the best before picture I got. And now this is what it looks like. I think for as little as I did to the area, I think it just set it off. I love it now. It's, it's more farmhousey vibe. Um, and before, whenever I had that all brown uh, TV stand, it was almost a boho vibe. And y'all know I'm all about the farmhouse. So I hope you have a blessed morning, even night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. And I'm so glad that you come here every single week to watch me redo my mobile home. I love you.